Today's video is a super quick tutorial on how do you change over your filament on an X1 carbon. First thing we're gonna do, come up to our touch screen. We're gonna go ahead and tap on the filament button, come up to filament, and we're gonna have select unload. What it's gonna do is gonna start heating up the nozzle, it's gonna cut our filament, and then uh, we're gonna have to pull it out. Once it's at heat, the uh, head's gonna come up, it's going to prepare to cut the tool, and then it's gonna come back and it's going to push the filament back out. So let's come onto the back of the machine, where here it's currently pushed the filament out, so we can go ahead and pull the filament out of the PTFE tube up at the top. And then I like to store my filament in a dry box here, just because it allows me to keep track of what the humidity is on a little sensor. So it's just a little silica gel inside. So I'm gonna take this out, pull it out of my tube. I'm gonna make sure that I hold on to this end because what you don't want is you don't want your filament roll to get caught underneath itself. That's gonna cause some serious issues. So when you're done with it, make sure you grab a hole at the edge and you can round it through and come back in through. And that's gonna stop your filament from catching in on itself. Then we'll grab our other filament roll. I'm gonna feed it back up through that PTFE tube up at the top of my piece here until it starts to come out the top of our end. Put my dry box back down. Then we can feed this end through this top PTFE tube. And we can just keep feeding, feeding, feeding until we feel a little bit of resistance. And when you feel that resistance, that means that you have pushed far enough in. I'm actually gonna pull this out so, I can show, so that I can show you what's happening. If you watch the end of the tube here as I push this in, you can actually see the end of that filament starting to come through the tube. And as we push in, eventually I'm gonna hit the end. Now with my dry box set up, I also have a much wider PTFE tube here that I can push on top so that it keeps my filament nice and dry all the way up through. So now that we've got that back in, let's go back to the front of our printer. We're now gonna select load. Our printer is gonna heat up its nozzle again. Once it's heated up, it's gonna ask us to push a new filament into the extruder, which we've already done. Then the head of the 3D printer is gonna go ahead and grab the new filament, of which it's already doing. Then it's going to purge the old filament. So if we watch the end here, you'll notice that we have a little bit of plastic that's already come out, and that means it's started to purge. It says, hey, please observe that the filament's been extruded. At this point, it has been extruded, so we can select done. Last step before you're done is you have to make sure you set up your plastic correctly. For me, I'm also, I can go ahead and press this little edit button. I'm using generic PLA as a filament and the color I'm using. Color's not super important, but it is useful for the next person that goes to use the printer so that they, when they check it on their bamboo, they know what color they're using. And then I can go ahead and click confirm. And that's it, changing over filament on a uh, bamboo X1 carbon.